Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, bringing us some more Madden 18 money plays. I got a really great formation, a main scheme out of the Philadelphia Eagles playbook. Uh, this right here is one of the best glitches runs I've found yet. Passing play. This is one of the new formations in the game. So there's a lot of really unique uh, passing plays and, and formations, and uh, you know routes that you're seeing are very unique. Um, so I'm going to show one of those next. I'm going to end the video with that. And uh, you know, there's a couple more good run plays too, but I'll probably save that for either my Patreon or the next video. But the first pass play I'm going to show is the one at the bottom there, the PA deep cross. Let's go ahead and let's keep running against the same defense. Now, like I was saying, you can motion this tight end. Um, you know, just to make it look like the last play, I think putting him in a drag is a pretty good look. This will help to open up the inside, um, you know, receivers. Like you see there, I go for the deep uh, B route right away. That motion, I think, is really key for that. But he's really, you know, a lot of times I have one guy or multiple guys that you can really do what you want. Uh, Ertz, like I said, I, I like the uh, drag. You see it's caught up a little bit there going over the middle. And then you see I go right back to the B route. The B route is going to be the most, um, you know, the best route when it comes to putting that tight end in the drag. But you don't have to put that tight end in the drag. You can do a couple different things with that tight end. <laughs> I mean, you can put the tight end into a, a, a flat beater, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm just trying to show you a little consistency here with these drags. This looks like a man coverage, and you can see the coverage is a little bit tight. They're sending the house, so i got to get rid of it. But either way, um, I'm also canceling play action on the running back. You don't want to play action on the running back. Um, that I mean, it, you can have it. It's up to you. But when you're showing, these, throwing these quick routes, you really don't want that. Uh, but here I'm putting him on a flat beater, like I was saying. And you can see how he just gets open underneath the receivers. Those two right receivers pull him back. and going to pull back most of the coverage as your tight end will come open right underneath. You don't even have to motion the tight end if you're going to do that, to be honest. Uh, that's really up to you. Um, if you want to, you know, like I said, it's, it's good to uniform the plays. But if you don't want to give away what you're doing, you don't have to motion the tight end. I'll show you how that looks in a minute. But you can see how this tight end, it consistently is getting open under the zones. Only like a hard flat, which people typically won't run, uh, will get in the way of that. Um, but like I said, you can do that or you can leave them in the drag. They're both really good options. Uh, but if you want to get the middle routes open, the best way to do it is uh, with the dragging tight end. As you see, the, the dragging tight end gets open really well either way. Either whether he's in the flats or whether he's, uh, you know, running uh, running the, the, uh, the drag, it's really good. So, but like I said, um, you know, the, he's, he's really your, a player's option. And you can see he keeps getting open. I mean, there he got caught up a little bit. I think I could have went the B route there, probably been a little bit better. Um, but you know it is what it is. So, like I said, you don't have to motion. Uh, you, know, you don't have to motion Ertz either. You can just run him just like he is. I also like putting the uh, the X route on a little bit of an out route and then smart routing it to make it go a little bit deeper. I think that's a good way to go because sometimes the streak and this route, which uh, I think is Tory Smith just ran, um, can get in the way of each other. Uh, so I find it's a little bit better to make the X route cut off short a little bit. So there's no chance of them running into each other because it can happen that way and it also can run coverage into each other so i think that's a better way to run it um so just put uh put your outside receiver on an out route and then smart route to make it go a little bit deeper because you do want him to hold on to that cover three corner or safety whatever is over there um you typically want um him to occupy that so if he's on a short out route he won't do that uh so here you go we see b getting open again one more time uh, really good play really good deep play now another thing you can do which is really a unique look is you can motion this wide receiver over and it essentially creates a bunch uh, you know concept that I haven't seen any any formation where there's three wide receivers this close and I think it really messes with the AI and then what I like to do is I like to put him on an out route once again and smart route him. Mean, you can see how he got wide open there against the man coverage um, so that so no matter what play you're running uh, this receiver here, this X receiver, I like to put on an out route and then smart route him, whether you motion him or not. Um, but like I said, that's that's a really hard formation for him to cover. You can see how he just keeps beating, uh, you know, whoever that is in coverage over there. And I know it's also on Jeffrey. I'm not sure who's covering him, but um, you know that also your, your other two receivers will be open the same way uh, over the middle. 
You know what I'm saying? Even even with um, you know the motion, it really doesn't matter. I mean, you can also put Ertz on like a, a little flat route or something. I like having them block. But you can see here the B route is still wide open, uh, whether you uh, mo whether you have also Jeffrey in motion or not. It really doesn't change anything. But like I said, you could put the Ertz on like a uh, you know any type of route really, a little out route or uh, a flat route. Uh, if you want to, but I think he's best left as a blocker because, like I said, it doesn't really seem to affect uh, the B route's coverage as I get that nice instant stiff arm. Um, so that's really up to you. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next play. All right, so moving on to the next play, we got another uh, pass play. Uh, the run plays are pretty much dried up. Uh, I have one more that I'll show you a little bit later, uh, but the best uh, plays that I have uh, before I get to that are definitely pass plays. Um, I like the, uh, the uh, PA counter shot there in the middle so we'll go ahead and we'll pick that so we'll um, basically make our adjustment this has the same motioning tight end as the uh, previous couple of plays did in the uh, you know the first two plays I showed you a lot of the plays have this motion um, so like I said you can put the you can keep putting this tight end on a little flat route uh, and he'll get open right underneath that um, that one wide receiver that's up to you that's one good way to run it uh, another way to run it is once again motion Ertz um, so it mirrors the previous plays and then I would say um, put him I accidentally put the running back in something and then put him on the same flat route and he'll basically have a cover two beater concept with the a route which is nice uh, but you can see how once again anytime you have a flat route in this man and right now because of the zone coverages anytime you have a flat route with any underneath anything they seem to be all be all the zones seem to be getting pulled back and these flat routes are really murdering it so it also helps a little bit I mean it pulls coverage out you see how that that cornerback there ran out to kind of cut off that flat route and create a throwing window so it has that effect too that's what that's why i call it a cover two concept because you have a high and a low anytime you got a high and a low it's going to give cover two's problems uh as you can see here the the x route and the uh the b route are crossing deep which is nice um you know it basically essentially both of them are open on that play and i just chose the deeper route so here we go we're going to go with the other route this time um, the X route. So, I mean, both of those guys are really open deep, whether it's cover two or cover three, uh, those guys are going to be open deep. Uh, I also like to put the Y route in a, uh, basically just an in route um, to just to kind of pull uh, a throwing window a little bit. Or you can put him into a drag like I did here. Um, he's a really good check down no matter what you do with him. Uh, like I said, the tight end in a lot of these passing plays is really like a free man uh, where you can do what you want based on your pre snap read. Uh, but the drag's nice. The drag's a good little check down. Uh, there, that's a nice, nice catch. I mean, he, had, he barely had position. Man coverage is a little bit better than I think people are giving credit for uh, this year. Here, I didn't really even make the adjustment. I just put my man on a drag. If you put him on a drag, he will definitely open up Alshon Jeffrey better. In, uh, moving on to the next play. Yeah, I want, I'm trying not to run this too many times because I just want to show you some consistency. And then I'm going to move on. So the next play I want to show is a really simple 0-1 or 0-1 trap there. Um, it was the bottom play in the uh, right there 0-1 trap. I'm putting Danell Pump. For, I'm putting Legarre Blunt back in because this is a run up the middle. Trap plays have been really successful um, over the last couple of, uh, of Maddens. I'd say you know quite some time. I think the trap play in the inside zone. The trap play was really dominant when it first came out. I want to say like three or four years ago. But uh, the inside zone kind of took over. But this trap play is still really good. Now you can flip the play. By hitting the right stick left or right, all it really does is choose um, which guard uh, is basically pulling. As you can see there, I make my read and I, and I get a nice run, a nice little broken tackle by LeGarrette Blount. He's got a, an amazing uh, ability to break tackles. Uh, but basically, wherever the guard is pulling from is where the hole is typically going to be. So if you got your left guard pulling right, the hole is going to be on the left side. If your right guard's pulling uh, left, it's going to be the other way around. So here, I, I can see a hole on the right side, so I'm going to flip it. And hope that that when that guard pulls, there's a hole there. Uh, it's, it's sealed up a little bit by the linebacker, but that's typically where the hole's going to be. So let's go and let's run a couple more times. Here it's going to be on the left side, uh, which I didn't quite hit as well, but I, I got I found my way over there. But either way, typically wherever the guard is leaving from is where the hole's going to be. Uh, and you can see there once again. If I would have got outside it a little bit, it might have been gone. Uh, but you're seeing this is a very this is a probably better run play than the last play I showed you, but it doesn't have the motion. And then I'm going to go to the last pass play of this video. Uh, try to show this one pretty quick too. Another single replay, the PA Smash Mills. This is uh, another outside route, uh, really all about about one read. And uh, what I want to do is I want to motion Burton over. You see how it shifts the whole formation, just motioning that uh, slot tight end over. And that basically is going to work to get him open on that little out route that he's running, uh, which looks like a speed route, which they took away a little while ago. Um, so that's really just that's the play. I mean, all this other stuff is really irrelevant. Uh, you can make whatever adjustments you want. 
as you see I'm making a slant and in route, but it's all about the A route, uh, which gets open you know, pretty quick. And then you can also throw to the uh, C route, which is pretty good, and that's about all you got.